Welcome back. The University of Scranton is helping people with disabilities see that they can do anything if they put their mind to it. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead is live in Scranton with more. Anya? Good morning, Chris and Kelly. Yes, I'm here at the Scranton University where we're actually going to learn a little bit about the technology that they're going to be teaching tomorrow at the 17th Annual Disability Fair. I'm here with Dr. Nastasi, who's going to tell us a little bit more. Good morning, everyone. So right now you can see we have some of our students who are working on writing. For individuals with low vision, these would be older adults with macular degeneration, glaucoma, cataracts. There's some simple, easy things that you can do. You can create more contrast by writing with a Sharpie marker. Concepts that you want to use are print, bold and large. By using the Sharpie marker, it gives the contrast that the person's able to see what you've written as opposed to using a pencil or a pen, which doesn't provide as much contrast. So the Sharpie markers help people with lower vision to see better. Yes. And now there's also more tools that we can see over here that can help people as well. Yes, so what we have over here, three of our students are using stand magnification. So stand magnifiers allow individuals to use magnification to read the materials that they want to read. Megan right here, who the camera's focused on, has an electronic magnifier. These are typically used with folks who have 20 over 200 vision or worse, because when your vision's poor, the magnification gets much larger, which only allows the person to see a letter at a time when they're reading. That's going to slow down reading comprehension. So electronic magnification allows the person to have a larger field of view to see more letters to make it easier to read their words. As you can see with Alex, he has a stand magnifier that's 3x magnification. So somebody who has 20 over 80 vision, who is at beginning, very beginning stages of macular degeneration, or a diabetic retinopathy, they can use a magnifier like that to be able to read their books, their recipes, their mail that comes in. And then you can see at the far station we have an 8x magnifier and there the screen is really tiny. So somebody who has like 20 over 200 vision, they get a letter at a time. So that makes it really challenging for them as they try to read. Now tomorrow they are going to have a technology smackdown from 1.30 to 2 p.m. where you can learn a little bit more about all of these different technologies and their uses at Scranton University. Anya Whitehead, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks Anya. And the whole thing is free, which you can't be. It seems like they have so many tools, resources, demonstrations there. It's amazing how technology is making it so much easier for so many people who have to you know, undergo disabilities. They're able to do so much more now because of it. It's a great event for sure. Yeah. Well, oil prices rise as Hurricane Michael 